This is 91.1 The Avenue. I'm Amanda Sharon, joined now by the members of the band Parrotfish. Welcome, guys. Hey. Thanks Thank for having us. Absolutely. Thanks so much for being here. Um, I have Connor Lynch on the line with me, Joe Kadrisha, also Trace Chappie and Maddie Rodrigo, and they make up Parrotfish. So now you guys are, um, you're, you're based in Tampa, but you're in, you're in Nashville right now, right? Yeah, we, uh, so me, Matt and Joe all went to, all grew up and went to high school in Tampa. And then we moved to Nashville for college we went to belmont university together all shared one room for the first for our freshman year and then we met trace uh down the hall in the dorm room he was uh yeah playing the drums and we were looking for a drummer and the rest is the rest is history yeah i'm actually from texas i'm the one that's not from tampa but at this point i go to tampa so much that it's it's a second home you know right right awesome and you guys are actually coming to our neck of the woods performing at Gather on Broadway's Farmer's Market Series concert on Wednesday night. Um, we're, we're so excited for the show, and um, your music has been described as a, a blend of genres, indie, rock. Um, how would you describe your sound, and, and what can folks expect for the show on Wednesday? Who wants this one? <laughs> um, I can take some of this one. Um, <laughs> yeah, I would say we say alternative rock because we feel like that's pretty broad, but I mean, we all just listen to so much music and we're into so much different stuff. We really try to kind of incorporate anything that's kind of influencing us in the moment, I guess. So, yeah. you know, I feel like people can expect just, you know, a high energy show with a little something for everybody. So what are some of your influences? Like, who do you guys listen to and like? Man, um, a lot of people. We love the Chili Peppers. I love Radiohead. I don't know, Trace, who are some people you like? Right now, definitely really into Remy Wolf. She, she's pretty new on the newer side of the world. Um, kind of that, like, I don't know, anything that has an edge to it. Like, it can be any genre, but if it's got a little bit of, like, grit. Or, like, Dominic Fike, if there's any Dominic Fike fans out there. I've been yeah. listening to a lot of uh, Hippo Campus is my, uh, probably my favorite band right now. I love Soccer Mommy. So, yeah, just a lot of, like, a lot of the indie stuff, so. I'm sure you guys play some of it on your yeah. station. <laughs> well, and um, your latest album is called, is it Something's in the Milk Today? Is that the latest one? That, that's the latest EP we dropped, yeah. Okay, yeah. And it, it's been getting a lot of um, positive feedback. Can you give me some insight into the creative process behind it and um, what what ideas you kind of wanted to to explore? I know it came out uh, early or late last year, right? Yeah, it came out, yeah October 2022. So do you guys have any um, new music or any recording that you've been doing lately? So, yeah, we uh, we went to a uh, we rented an Airbnb in August of 2022 and we recorded six, uh, six new singles and three of them have just been released. One actually was just released um, on June 22nd and um, that one was called Cold Inside. So that's our newest single. And there's a music video for that. Maddie Rodrigo directs a lot of our music videos and comes up for the concepts for them. And then we had a song called The Implication, which is doing the best out of all our singles right now. And then Hitchhiking, which also has a music video directed by Matt. Awesome. So um, so tell me about the new songs. Like, how did you how, how did you write them and, and how did they sort of come about to release as, as singles ahead of the new release, you said, right? Well, I don't yeah. know. I feel like with all... Yeah, with like all of our songs, well, it's funny. This song, this EP, we're calling "Scrounging Around," and if I feel like that kind of like encapsulates the way that we just like we're just always writing songs. Then it's like, okay, now which songs are the best ones to <laughs> put on the EP? Let's just scrounge for the best that we got. I mean, I feel like a lot of artists do that, but uh, yeah, we just had six songs that we really liked, and like Connor said, we went to a um, Airbnb that we got and just studio fight it and. Uh, yeah, made some good songs. Awesome. So you guys are on tour right now, right? Yes, we um we did some touring in Florida and Texas, and now we're about to head to uh, we're heading to New York. We're well, we're heading to Bowling Green actually this weekend, but it's only an hour drive from Nashville, so it's oh, not. Yeah, yeah we're back in Nashville for the time being. So, um, what are some of like your most memorable uh, moments or or a cool story that you've you have from being on the road together so far? A lot. We busted a uh, 
or our trailer um, wheel fell off, which was kind of scary uh, a little while ago. <laughs> Everyone and everybody in that situation is safe too. So that's a, a plus when things go wrong on the road. It's good when everybody is safe, you know? <laughs> yeah. I would say just being on the road, we always end up getting to see a lot of our, um, just our old friends and like family because we ended up staying with everybody. So I would just say some of the most memorable things are just being able to just all be together and like see everybody and hang out and go to each city and just kind of see what the city's about. It's a cool way to it's a cool way to do work. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We make a lot of new friends on the road too. So that's definitely that's definitely probably my favorite part. Yeah, meeting new people and stuff. So um as a band, how do you how do you collaborate and, and bring your music to life? Tell me about the music making process for you guys. I feel like each song has a different beginning whether it's like it comes from one of us or if it's like a jam that we just start all together in one room and then like with that beginning we just you know it could be like matt has a song that he just wrote uh maybe just got a a verse to or something like that and then he brings it to us and we like uh just jam it out just play it and see what happens try to make a format to it and then a lot of times, like I said, like Matt might have a verse, but Connor might have something that he's been written. And then we just combine those things. We we talk about like Frankensteining songs where like we just have different ideas from different times and places and uh, try to fit them together. And if it works and feels good, then we then we roll with it and turn it into a song, you know, part A, part B. Now you got a song. <laughs> <laughs> Cool. And so what are your what are your aspirations as a band? Where do you guys sort of see yourselves or where do you think this will this will go? I know you're you're pretty up and coming. So, so yeah, we, we always try to take it one step at a time. I feel like um, right now the biggest goal would just be to make a complete living, just be doing our music, our original music. And right now we all work some part time jobs and whatnot. So being able to fully just um get lost in in the music and do that full time would be the first goal and then take it from there next step always gonna just keep keep trying to climb to the next part i guess yeah, come out with better songs than before and keep playing bigger shows yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah we plan on being really active with releases so even after this ep i mean we've already we're always writing so we plan on just you know recording again soon when we can and popping out more songs mm -hmm. always and then where can where can people find you if they wanna wanna check out Parrotfish? We got a website, we got Instagram, we got we're on Spotify, Apple Music, all the streaming platforms. Um, we're probably most active on our Instagram. We're trying to get more active on TikTok, but most uh, of those, all of our um, social handles are Parrotfish Band, and our website Parrotfishband dot com. So it's easy if you just type in Parrotfish Band on your app of choice. I should ask you how you got the how you got the name Parrotfish. So yeah, in uh in high school, me, Joe, and Matt were uh playing a battle of the bands. This was like our senior year of high school. And I had just joined the band and we didn't have a name yet. And Joe had been at the aquarium that day and they they kinda asked us, they're like, You guys need a name uh to put down on the poster? And Joe's like, I saw this cool fish called a parrotfish and the rest is pretty much history after that. <laughs> Yeah, that was it. It's awesome. I love the name. It's a great band name. <laughs> thanks. Awesome. You guys, thanks so much for joining me today. Of thanks, course. Man. Cool. Thanks for having yeah. us. Yeah. We're excited but to come down there and play. Absolutely. Parrotfish will be performing at Gather on Broadway's Farmer's Market Series on Wednesday, downtown Green Bay in the Broadway District, sponsored by Nicolet Bank, a supporting partner of The Avenue. Thanks again, guys.